Hello everybody, welcome to another uh, Let's Play with Bones. Today we're doing Midnight Scenes, so let's get to it. This is a free game. Uh, I believe you can give some donations on the patron for this uh, developer here. I'm going to link you to the game itself uh, in the box below. As it says, this is by Octavi Navarro. Uh, I liked the look of this one. It reminded me a lot of like a Twilight Zone thing, right off the bat. Apparently it is a short game, so maybe we'll be able to play the whole thing. I don't know yet. Uh, we'll see. Of course, the moment I start one of these, we have a Fair Barons H23 is about to discover what kind of horrors lurk in the darkness of a deserted road. The flat tire delayed clears clip. Little she suspects how this incident will change her life forever, as well as her perception of reality. Oh, do I get the muscle for scissors? This is nice. I do. I get the muscle for All right, so. I was probably supposed to read that little note down there, I did not. Tonight's episode, The Highway. So I think we're playing the first episode of this. I get a feeling this will be an episodic game itself. That's the 12 midnight scene. Oh, that's not good. Remember safety in your life, people. If you ever see something like this, do not approach it. Call, uh, call Edison or whatever electrical company is on the call. See, she just walked in water there. That's a big mistake. You don't do that in real life. An unexpected obstacle, a new delay for Claire. She might need to find some help to resume her journey as soon as possible. Fortunately, she notices a signal pointing to a, a near emergency phone. Let's switch her luck. So it is very much like, uh, okay, so that's what that is. So it is very much a bit, to me anyway, like Twilight Zone. That's fucking creepy. That's creepy. Um, which goes, I think, more into the... Sometimes more is less as far as gore and all that goes, guys. You know what I mean? Like, that's there's not much in the way of gore. But that was quite quite creepy. Does Claire have anything in her car she can use? No. Come on, Claire. Get the hell out of the car. So, can Claire walk this way? Yes, we can. Let's look at this side. Same one with that kid. We're gonna look at this and see if they're all different. Something with this child apparently is, is a narrative here. The space has been destroyed almost like we've been aged. So do we want to We're gonna try this. I'm curious to see what will happen. So that's the other end of the accident, so the truck hit that and knocked it down. Maybe we'll find some clues in the truck, guys, or some help, something. Oh, I see hedge trippers already. Hedge trippers. Hedge clippers. Aw, so they're a family. So that was a family. There is blood on the seat, but they are nowhere to be seen, leading me to believe. They got away successfully, I am hoping, for the little boy's sake, because if not, that's kind of tragic. So, oh boy. So, what do we have here? We have a package. We got a hammer. Oh, we got string, too. All right. So, we do have an inventory in this. Uh, not using a hammer on that. Nope. I know we're going to need this. These look like three things we need, so... We've got to be on the lookout for a key, first of all, guys, so that's something to be aware of. A puzzle of some sort. So, something in the gear has an opening in it. Scarecrow, it looks like that's a scarecrow. A happy scarecrow, no less. Um, so, alright. So maybe we have to, there he is, we have these scarecrow, so let's take a look, he's, okay, he's, 
fucking crazy. He's not happy with him at all. Oh, oh, okay. So what did Nick, did we change something here? Did we do something? Let's keep seeing what happens. Hey, I have an idea. Scarecrow, Scarecrow, here's your run. Let's set your arm back. Come on, baby. Don't you want your arm? Well, he wants his arm now. Am I wasting my time? Can I give him his arm back? I don't even know, to be honest. I guess I never really thought that that was not an option. So. I still feel pretty good about this. This. The raised, uh, the raised arm there. Um, right now we're just kind of looking around the area, seeing what we can figure out about things. Again, I don't really expect a lot to come of this. I was hoping I could combine these two. No, there's no help there. I don't know what I was trying to do there, honestly, guys. Um, let's take a look at the scary programming in there, please. Please. So down, looks like down is this. There's something there that changes. So we're going to push the arm all the way down. But I don't know, see, because this is bold text, like a bold arrow, with an explanation and then points. So this is just showing the rotation. I feel like having the arm up is the correct position, so we're going to keep that for now. You know what, actually? Yes, so that's a happy scarecrow, so that's what we need. So, let's go back to scarecrow and try and use string on him. Uh, end this and see if, no, it's not happening. Maybe I'm not on the right side of scarecrow. Um, I know I am famous for taking too long on these things, so I do apologize, guys. And like I said, I will definitely have a link to this in the uh, in the description. I don't tell me I gotta go all the way back here. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really, really like the idea of her in the water, nor her trying to get past this. So well, that's a phone booth. This shit can go here very easily. Yeah, see? Maybe she can use this to kind of sweep that away, maybe. She's gonna wash that gray right out of her hair. Yeah, she gonna die. She does that shit. Well then quit doing that. You goof. And you mess with this, lady. Well, let's hit this with a hammer. And she's like, I don't know. That makes two of us, sweetheart. I have no idea. Uh, well, don't touch that. Oh, Willow Cray! Options. No, yeah, I think they're good. So, guys, we have our first puzzle. The Scarecrow. Creepy Kid. Most point-and-click games have you doing exactly what I'm doing, which is vying desperately to see if I can figure something else out. The water, maybe I can sweep the water up with this. Like a mop, maybe? I feel like the water and this are just a bad combination to begin with. So the only places I've been able to go are where? The yard and this. So whatever the answer to my troubles is, it's got to be within this yard and the other thing. And that only leaves me with the creepy uh, scarecrow. There's nothing else in the yard as far as I can see that I can play with. I wonder if we try to click on him and do this from far away. Okay. I don't know either. He's like, what do you want to find? I don't know. Let's hit this with the hammer, right? Let's hit everything with the hammer. I don't know what I'm doing at all. You guys are probably laughing at me because this is ridiculous, I know. Uh, that I should be stumped so easily in one of these. 
But uh, it's not that I'm stumped, it's that I am. Um, oh no! I know there are items I can keep finagling here, so here is what I want to know. What difference does it make what I do to his arm if nothing seems to happen? Can I hammer him? Am I looking to use the hammer at him? I don't know. Can I sweep blood off this? That's his arm, clearly. So we're going to try using the same objects in the same manner all three times and see if any of them change anything. That's all I know to do right now, guys, because uh, I don't have a single hint for this game. What would you do if you were me that I'm not doing? Am I not seeing something, guys, that I can get from him? I'd be clicking on something. I feel like when I am interacting with something I can interact with. Like you see that. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're now now we're talking. Now we're talking. Oh you fuck. Okay. Now we're talking. So the juice is flowing. I kind of think that's as good as he gets. There we go. Now we're talking. And Yahtzee. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. So I was looking at this wrong. But now I know. Is that a house? So it could be useful. Can I save my game here as well? No, you cannot. Dude, I do not like the, uh, the creepy music is great here, I feel. Because it just gives it an ambience on its own. Now that's a cute picture. I feel like that's, they were definitely like a 50s or 60s here when he looks like a Beatles haircut. You know what I mean. Um... What else can we carry? Because let's be honest, in adventure and puzzle games, it's all about how much you can stuff in your pockets at the end of the day, isn't it? Maybe not how much you can stuff in your pockets, but how much can you carry? What is it? Oh, there's a dead body. Near her face, she's like, Oh! My heavens! Alright. God, all the electricity is just all puppy, isn't it? But we need to find a key, first of all. Can we go in here? We cannot. It's a beautiful yard they have, though. Now the hammer is going to come into play, I bet. Yes. We have a rung. Is that a grave? We have a nail. Now, obviously, this puzzle is fairly self-explanatory, I feel. We put the nail with this. We put this in here. I didn't do it close enough, I don't think. So, when that lights up, we put that there. Can you do it, lady? I believe in you? Yes! Alright, we're getting somewhere now. What's this down here that you grab? What, oh, is that a lantern? But it's a lantern. Well, we like that. Uh, I, you will laugh at me, but I am a sucker for... I always have a solar lamp in the house somewhere, just in case we ever lose power. I'm a stickler for stuff like that. And I know it sounds dumb, but... Honestly, you never, ever, ever know, man. Light is a commodity. And you never know. You never know if you need it. There we go. Oh, she's oh my lording. Shit, dude, I really hate to do this to you, but I need that key. Can we help him? Can we help him, please? Barry? Barry? It looks like he already bled out. The amount of blood down here in that headroom, he's not, he, he has not made it. 
see today, today. Can we pick our lantern up, please? Well, thanks, lady. It's alright, at least we can get the tools we need now. We get back to that truck and hopefully unlock that and do our adventuring. Yes, let us grab this. Is that all we need? Apparently that's all we need. Alright, so maybe we'll come back to those, but... Obviously the wire clippers are kind of the most uh, sensible thing to be getting out of this. Although, in real life, guys, do not stand in water, or do not stand in water near live wires. You have to be out of your fucking mind. So do not do that, because even what you see her doing here in real life could kill you. So, that's a disclaimer. Do not attempt to do that in real life. If you see a down wire, don't try to cross it. Call your cable company or cable company emergency. <gasps> no! I one of those as a kid. Or maybe they were putting up missing kid posters, which would make this even more tragic. What is this? Do I, do I take this? I don't know. In fact, this is a map of the area, but I, I, I don't really want to grab stuff off a of dead man, but I feel like that is important. That's creepy. I wonder if they're like a paranormal group, and that's why they're out here. Is it's just something eerie in the town, and they're here to solve it. That's the same kid we saw in the earlier one, so clearly he has psychic abilities, and they were testing him, maybe? Running test on him? Monitoring him? I'm very intrigued by this game, I'll say that. Um, and like I said, this, games like this are why I like doing this channel. I don't know I'm gonna walk toward her. No good comes from this. Oh, she dropped something. She left something. What did he leave? Okay. Um, but games like this are why I enjoy doing this channel because instead of just doing. Nope. Terror Baron's age 20 grief for friction finally made you to put push aside the fallen power pole and resume her journey. Sorry to read that all sloppy. I was excited. So terrified, she stopped at the first gas station to contact the authorities and inform them about the disturbing event she had just witnessed. Nothing out of the ordinary was found by the police in that stretch of road. No sense of any crash or the presence of any mystery kid. The man living in the farm was found a bit drunk but in good condition. Not a single word was written in any newspaper at the horrors clear witness that night. She went on with her life, trying to convince herself that she wasn't crazy at all, that she probably just saw something not meant to be seen. Midnight Scenes, The Highway. So that was a very short little game. I wanted to show it to you anyway, share with you what's out there. The reason, like I said, I like to do these is to show you all what's out there that you may not be aware is out there, and you may not be aware it's fun to play, but there's a bunch of these guys that I plan to start throwing in and including because I think it's impressive and I hope they do another episode of this because this was very Twilight Zone-y uh, and, I, and I dug this so thank you guys very much for watching be sure to subscribe I'm Bones you guys have a great day